Okay, now I've been teaching online since uh, 2000, and so I had a lot of experience with distance education. I taught online. I was a distance education uh, faculty coordinator. I was working at the state level on all kinds of DE committees and um, in the academic senate, and um, also uh, then became the dean of distance learning at the college. And um, so I have a lot of experience with DE. So it was a real natural fit for me. Um, it was our, the culture at, at Mount San Jacinto College embraces distance education because we've had uh, a lot of uh, professional development around it since 2000. So people are uh, are open to it, and I think you know having a culture that's open to alternative methodologies is critical when you're dealing with something like this. So, you know, I've heard of people who, um, and I won't say the college, but uh, someone almost didn't get tenure because they had done a MOOC. At the behest of their college, they did a MOOC, and then they then their department almost didn't give them tenure because they had done that. And you know, so attitudes are are still off the rails about um, this method, this particular methodology. And and I think it's it's going to take a while for for things to settle out as to how these are going to be used in education. Never never once. As a matter of fact, one of the teachers on the course, just an amazing person, Ted Blake, said never once. While I was working on this or teaching this course, did I ever feel like my job was in jeopardy? Wow. So, you know, um, there there's a lot of there was a lot of fear in the beginning, and and I think that fear leads to, you know, disparaging comments about the methodology because of the fear of, uh, you know, my job. And, and you know, when we started using the internet um, in the 80s. In the early 80s, teachers were saying, this is going to replace me. They're not going to need me anymore. You know? It was, and, and as far as I know, no, no one has ever been replaced by distance education. As a matter of fact, it's been quite the opposite. I think people have jobs because of distance education. And, um, you know, I've never heard of a teacher losing their job because of distance education. You know? <laughs> and so... You know, most of those people who said that have retired now. So, you know, from teaching. 